Okay. Uh, land trains may demo. Um, so yeah, this is going to be talking about some of the feedback from the last demo that's been mostly implemented. And this should be the last demo that is using Dropbox. The next one will go through Steam. So hopefully that will make it less sketchy. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I sound probably pretty terrible. That's because I was sick the last few days. So what's new? First thing that's new is this screen. Let's move myself. Um, let's remove the title. All right. <coughs> Most of these is, are just setups, but effectively this is like your your starting power selection. Um, right now you're locked into this one, which automatically upgrades every wagon with a cannon turret, um, but you don't get extra coins. Um, there is a series of relatively helpful notes and about the game that are now in the loading screen turns out that it loads a lot quicker when you run into release i normally run into debug click start uh you have menus or you have a tutorial oh i'm gonna move myself again there we go out of the way um okay so we have tutorial um that allows us to actually see some stuff in here um, so we can skip all this skips all the tutorials you can also click resume and then you get the individual messages and it will tell you like hey this is uh, your different turrets these are your different lower decks you can now switch between lower decks and upper decks you can navigate through your train um, you can then decide what you want to change so like I want to build a lower deck there um, so we just built some raiders to increase the pickup range there's no tool tips I haven't figured out how to make those work yet and there we go um, some things are not working great most things are working pretty decent um, got some target dummies mainly to help myself and for anybody who cares about seeing what the numbers look like we have an event these are like your where you would get your powers and stuff the initial one just gives you some coins or you can you know get some uh, wood um, also whenever you hit P you can pause the game and then you can say like okay well I would like this wagon to instead be like uh, a fire wagon and I want to upgrade it a bit and now I have like one giant fire thing at the end uh, it is that one at the end anyway um, so a lot of things have changed um, try to make it a little bit more intuitive as to what's going on try to make it a little bit easier to figure out the, the from a visuals perspective where things are going um, so the smoke is now going down instead of up uh, that was funny enough always planned but having the smoke go up turned out to be actually quite a bit of issue for a gameplay perspective because you know that's where the camera is um so yeah switching that around a little bit really made a big difference this one also has a little reward that isn't really implemented yet but it's there um overall things are doing i still don't know why this attractor is always powered on and just sucking up all of my smoke clouds um there's still things I need to learn um, right now the only power that it gives you is this little wagon it's not implemented yet but you'll be able to get active powers offensive defensive uh, passive powers or wagons and wagons will like affect wagons near them in general so there'll be like a localized 
buff. Um, no new enemies. It's it's still the pill bugs and the ants and the earthworms. Ugh. Oh. Um, the only way you can get more health is by building engineering decks. Um, so it, it definitely forces you into doing more of that. You heal by adding wagons, but your max health is handled by engineering decks. Uh, don't drive into earthworms. It will kill you. Um, so that's the kind of the current state of things. This is still... <coughs> functional like you can navigate through your train this is the uh, the pylon um, there's nothing to be done there you can navigate through it um, so yeah it's a little bit less and more forgiving um, definitely pays off to build and use your coins um, and you have to still be pretty careful about the, 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 the driving around. It now tells you your length here, over here, extra wagons. This is your steering controls. These are your controls for upgrading wagons. This is the rank that your current wagon is. So this is a cannon of rank one. Unlike, where is this thing? Um, oh, here. This is a fire of rank 3. I'm not sure I like this setup yet. I'm still contemplating doing something better. Um, don't know, but if I like this setup with these two knobs, it's kind of a placeholder, seeing if I like it or not. I like that it shows you the wagon that you're interacting with. Right now, the, the, the turrets are all such bad placeholder art it's very hard to tell what exactly is a wagon um, so that definitely needs to improve but that is the state of this version the next version will have uh, actual art assets hopefully and it will have actual um, it will have more of a coherent look and feel to it Whereas right now, there's definitely some, some disconnects in there. Anyway, let me know how things work. I'm mainly looking for feedback on gameplay, right? Like, did it behave the way you expected to? Were you able to actually, um, you know, play the game? You know, like things like this. I don't know what's causing that. I do this for fun, by the way, I think. Um, anyway. But yeah, the main looking for feedback on tutorial level. Does it make more sense? Were you able to create, um, you know, did it make more sense how the wagons behaved? Uh, was the tutorial level acceptable in difficulty um, I, I, I realized that the initial versions of the tutorial level were definitely not um, and then yeah that's kind of where we're at right now like does the gameplay make sense like does it make sense how you could complete these events um, I realized that, you know, for some of the events, uh, they don't look fantastic. Um, and, and explaining exactly what they do. Um, so definitely want to work on that as well. <coughs> but that's going to be next. Next month is going to be focused around the feel of the game and making sure that, that makes a lot more sense. Um, this one's more about the controls, the gameplay mechanics, the tutorial level, and um, 
yeah, trying to get some feedback on that aspect of it. So overall, I'm I'm relatively happy with it. Things are working well, I think. Ha! No, fail. Um, and this is like one of the cases where I, I don't want to die. So I'm going to build some engineering decks. I increase my pickup range a bit. Um, yeah, I can have like bigger cannons. Right. Um, but yeah, the game definitely requires you to engage more with the actual mechanics, <coughs> <coughs> or you're just gonna die. Um, which I think is a good thing. But it also is uh, more intensive on the testing. And I figure I'm probably pretty terrible at testing my own game at this point. So. But yeah, things are going. Seem to be working well enough. Um, definitely need to work on, on like the look and feel for the next release though. And yeah, next release, one of the big differences is going to be getting it working on Steam. Uh, as far as the number of enemies and stuff that you can handle on the screen, it looks like it's still relatively happy with uh, it's 300 some odd enemies on the screen. But it's 30 FPS. Yeah. We'll work on that. Um, yeah. Things are working relatively well. Anyway, that's it for this month. Next month, we'll actually get uh, more updates around the um, getting it more, a bit more cohesive in the way that the game looks and feels. Oh, uh, driving over stuff actually works now. So if you drive over bugs, it will actually do damage. Um, so that's nice. I'm happy about that. Um, interesting. I think that's it. <laughs>